Hi guys, welcome back to Money Monday. So this video is actually in partnership with a bank called Me. Now Me actually want to help you get ahead with your money and make the most of it. So the video that I've created for today is how to save. Now I know this may seem like a really silly, obvious topic for a video on money, but it surprises me as to how many people have no idea really how to save and also how to save efficiently. It is actually probably one of the most common questions that I get asked by all my friends. They'll ask me, how did you have enough money to buy that handbag? Or how did you afford to buy that car? Or how did you manage to save up that deposit for that home so quickly? And to be really honest with you, the simple answer is to have a really good habit system in place and a really good routine. But that is actually easier said than done. So for this video, I'm sharing with you seven tips and tricks as to how to save efficiently and as effectively as possible so that those financial goals become your financial reality. And we all know how good it feels when we see our savings accounts growing. Tip number one is to have a deadline for your goals. If, for example, you have a goal to save up, say, $10,000 in five months time, make sure that five months actually has a defined date. That will mean that you actually feel a lot more accountable, you'll realize that time is ticking and it will give you the motivation to actually make sure you're putting the right actions in place so that goal is successfully achieved. If you were to set a goal that's in five months time, you're always pushing the achievement of that goal constantly five months into the future. It will make it so much harder to actually achieve. And this is one of the key principles that I apply to all of my goals, whether they're financial, personal, or lifestyle. Tip number two is to have a budget. Now, there are a couple of reasons for having a budget. One, it helps identify your spending habits. The second thing is it helps identify what you really value. Now, from those two bits of information, you can work out how much you can afford to regularly save, but you will also help identify other ideas and opportunities where you can maybe cull things or reduce things from your existing budget to help free up more money that you can put towards your savings. Tip number three is to have a dedicated savings account for that particular goal. This is so incredibly important. By having a dedicated account, and I recommend you try and nickname that account in line with your goal, it means that your goals and your money has direction, flow, and purpose. And you actually feel like you're getting a lot more progress. And that feeling of progress is what's gonna fuel your continued commitment and dedication. Now, when trying to find the right type of savings account for your financial goals, try and find one that's obviously got a high interest rate, has low fees, or possibly even no fees. Remember, you want your money working for you as hard as possible. Tip number four is to regularly contribute towards that dedicated savings account. It doesn't matter how small it is, but the fact that you are creating a really healthy routine and habit system by regularly depositing money into that account, again creating more progress, more commitment and more dedication, getting you closer and closer towards that goal. Now over time you can slowly find opportunities and ideas to increase that regular contribution plan. And of course there's always the thousand dollar project which can help you create more savings or help create more ideas as to how you can contribute more money into that account even through lump sum contributions. And then another really simple idea to help increase the contributions towards that dedicated savings account is every time you get a pay rise, you put some or even all of that after tax pay rise towards that account, which really stops your lifestyle increasing with your pay rise. Tip number five is to remove temptation. Say for example, you have a financial goal of saving for your first home. But typically you like to spend your weekends going to the shopping mall or you love looking at your favorite fashion websites. Now, I think this is actually an incredibly dangerous thing because it's creating temptation and it will wear you down and you may end up cracking and wasting a lot of money on things that you don't really want or need and then completely delaying the date that you would have achieved your previous financial goal. So what I recommend you do in this situation is you replace that habit system. So instead of visiting the shopping malls or going to those websites that you love, why don't you start researching property online or even going and inspecting those properties yourself? Doing research and learning more about why you want to achieve that particular goal and that will really fine tune your de dedication and determination and also get you a lot more excited about the goal that you're working towards. Tip number six is to review your progress regularly. You should be looking at your savings account, watching it grow, getting excited about it, feeling yourself getting closer and closer towards achieving that goal. 
you should also be looking at things that you're doing to help build up those savings. Are there other things you could be doing? Is there extra work that you could be taking on? Are there more savings to be had that you can contribute towards that dedicated savings account? Remember, little things really do add up. And then the final tip is to make sure you give yourself rewards and pit stops. We are all human beings with normal emotions. Sometimes saving can be painfully slow and painfully boring, but then sometimes it can be exhilarating and exciting and give us this amazing sense of dedication and purpose and direction. So as you get closer and closer to achieving your goals, make sure you take the time to stop and reward yourself. And if you feel the need to take a little break, especially if you're going really hard and aggressively, that's okay. Just make sure it doesn't go for too long and make sure you get back on the bandwagon and focus again on what you're trying to achieve and why. Now, personally, I love to have big dreams, but when it comes to having really big goals, I try and break it down into bite-sized, manageable and achievable mini goals. And by having those mini manageable goals, as I achieve them, I really realize what I'm capable of and that I'm actually getting closer and closer into achieving that big goal. So if you're now feeling ready to start setting your savings goal and start your savings plan, don't forget the first thing you need to do is to get that dedicated savings account. And remember, you wanna make sure that it has low or no fees and earns a high interest rate. So I definitely recommend heading over to the me website and seeing what savings options they have for you and achieving your savings goals. And if you are feeling really inspired from watching this video as to how to save, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear about your saving goals and your saving plans. So as always, please put your feedback in the comments box below. And finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank MeBank for sponsoring this video. And I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.